Mark Senden, senior forward, welcome to the virtual penalty box. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Mark, you're wearing the C this year at North Dakota. That's a familiar position for you. You were a captain in high school, captain in juniors. What's the best thing about being captain? Um, uh, I mean, just having the honor of being a captain, I would say. What's the most difficult thing about being a captain sometimes? Um, I think uh, one thing I, everyone expects you to have the answers. And I mean, you know, I can't always be the one with the answers. So, uh, you know, a bunch of people can always come to me with questions and I'm just, you know, sometimes I don't have it for them. Could you give me a recent example? We get like our team schedule sent out and, uh, you know, I get guys texting me like, hey, do you know the schedule? And I'm like, no, I, I mean, I, I figure out when you guys do. So. <laughs> <laughs> This last week on Through These Doors, we got a chance to look at you guys playing board games and Settlers of Catan. Was that something you picked up when you got to UND or was it a game you were familiar with beforehand? Yeah, no, I'd never heard of it before. And then I, uh, Weston Mashad had this little travel game of uh, Catan and he kind of taught our whole house here. And me, JVD and Jasper all kind of learned from uh, Weston and that's where we all got hooked. There are five different resources you can pick from. So we got wood, wood. Hay, hay or grain. Or, or sheep, sheep and brick. Nice. Yep. Which one do you maybe closely associate with yourself, either from a personality standpoint or an on ice style of play? <laughs> oh boy. Um, I'll say brick mm. because I like to block shots. So you know, brick, <laughs> brick wall. <laughs> You're getting married, which is exciting. Yeah. Talk me through who's who's the girl. How did you meet? Give us the give us the story. Um. Well, we met in high school. Um. You know, I was in the it was strength class, gym class, and uh, I knew this uh, girl on the hockey team, and she was the only one in our strength class. So she's like, "Well, I don't want to be lonely." So she invited her friend to join the class, which ended up being Maddie. She kind of hit things off, and you know, that was my sophomore year in high school so about eight years now and we make a great team we always make each other better so awesome that's what it's all about right have you picked out who your best man is going to be yet for the ceremony um i have a couple ideas if i had who would be your best man on the und hockey team best man on the und hockey team oh i think my best man on the team i think i'd have to pick that's just that's a tough question. Putting me on the spot now. You're putting me on the spot. <laughs> it's tough. That's what this is. That's, that's what this whole segment is. It's putting you on the spot, Mark. I know. Um, I'd have to go with Hayner. Obviously, you know, we've been together for uh, four years now, and he's my roommate. And, you know, we always we know each other really well and playing on the same line for three years, you know. Awesome, Mark. Oh, I appreciate you, buddy. Best of luck with the wedding planning and with the rest of this season. You're excused from the virtual pandemic box. Thank you very much. Mark Senden, everybody.